Hi, how's it going? Zach D Productions here, and I'm here for an album review for you guys. So for this review, I'll be reviewing the new album by In Flames entitled Forgone. And I just have to say right off the bat that I do think that this is easily In Flames' best album since Sounds of a Playground Fading. I think that this album comes nowhere near Siren Charms, Battles, or I the Mask. I think that this album blows those albums out of the water easily. So just by the singles from this new album, you can definitely tell that In Flames are taking steps in the right direction, you could say. Kind of like back to their roots, uh, not necessarily their 90s mellow death roots like we all would love, but this is still passable. I would say this is still very acceptable. I would say that uh, chronology-wise, like if this album sound-wise would fit anywhere in their chronology, it sounds like it could have came out in between A Sense of Purpose or Sounds of a Playground Fading, or maybe it could have came out shortly after Sounds of a Playground Fading. Uh, this is definitely the most mellow death that they've been in a while. Uh, I think that there's a lot of strong material on here, great heaviness, great melody, and... I would say that if you're someone who's been disappointed and in flames the past few years, you know, with the last few albums, which I don't blame you, definitely give this album a go because, again, I do think that this is definitely their best album in years. So, of course, like with a lot of my album reviews, I won't be going over every song. I'll just be going over basically the highlights and give you my overall thoughts on this album. So basically, the album starts off with the beginning of things, which is just an introduction that leads right into a state of slow decay, which is basically a near mellow death song, and I dig the heaviness of it. It's just really great. And then you got Meet Your Maker, uh, a song that sounds like it could have came from the Ascent of Purpose era, which, you know, it's not my favorite of the singles, not one of my favorites on the album either, but I do like it though. I do think it's a pretty good song. And of course you have uh, Foregone Part 1 and 2, which are a couple favorite tracks for me on the album. For uh, Gone Part 1 especially is one of my favorites. I do like the second part though. Uh, the second part definitely relies more on the melody. So yeah, I really dig that song. And you know, Anders' vocals, not just, you know, on... Uh, you know, this song, but a lot of these songs, like, he actually doesn't sound too bad. Like, I know that a lot of fans like to crap on Anders' vocals, like they say that he should only scream or growl or whatever, you know, like he did on those early Mellow Death records, but he actually doesn't sound so bad here, you know, when he is using his clean vocals, I would say. Uh, they're actually used pretty decently on this album. And then you got The Great Deceiver, which is probably another favorite of mine. I mean, I really dig the chorus, especially. Really great. Uh, you also have In the Dark, which is probably another one of my favorites. Um, so, yeah, I mean, lots of highlights on this album, for sure. And some of their best work, I'd say. I know that this was not really an in-depth album review, but I just wanted to give my overall thoughts on this album again just to let you guys know what I think personally, and I would definitely say that this album is actually really good, surprisingly. And I do think it's their best album in years, so yeah. And this is also the first album of the decade as well, of the 2020s, so maybe like that's a good sign for them. Like maybe like this is what we're gonna get throughout this decade, this type of music from In Flames. Although, who knows how many albums In Flames plans to do after this, if this doesn't end up being the last one. But anyhow, uh, I do think it's a really good album, uh, musician-wise, vocal-wise. Everything has just been improved here from Eye the Mask, I would say. I mean, everything, again, has been improved, it seems like. So, In Flames, they put out a really good album this time around, and yeah, I, I personally think it's good. So, let me know what you think. If I were to give this album a score, I'd probably give it maybe an 8 or an 8.5 out of 10. I do think it's really good, so that's my review for Forgone by In Flames. 
So let me know what you think. Are you an In Flames fan? And have you heard the new album? Feel free to let me know. So on that note, thanks for watching and have a good one.